Welcome back, everyone. If you are getting married anytime soon, you know your wedding is going to be all over social media. So you probably already have your wedding hashtag picked out. You know, I didn't have to worry about that. I don't think there was social media when I got married, <laughs> seriously. Uh, but here with this year's hottest trends to ensure your big day stands out from all the rest is event planner Rebecca Wise. Welcome back, Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. <laughs> So let's start with colors, because I'm always really curious to see, you know, what's on trend, what the big color is, yeah. what's popular this year. This year's Pantone is greenery. So we're bound to see lots more greenery, more table garlands, greenery on chairs, etc. But I'm happy to say that color is now back on trend. We've emerged from the blushes and golds and creams that have been so popular, and now we're seeing bright oranges and fuchsias and hazy grays and rich blues and color, color, color. Wow, you got me really excited. I want to get married again. <laughs> so let's take a look at your mm -hmm. tablescape, and we're going to start with the linens. So what is the trend in linens? Overlays and runners are actually making a huge comeback this year, which is exciting. They add texture and interest to your wedding display, and fabrics and lace are actually just casually being thrown onto your table. It just adds a bit of romance. This table looks beautiful. So tell us about the decorative tabletop trends. Mm -hmm. So centerpieces are actually going high, but they're not, they're not just balls of flowers. These are from Blush and Bloom, and they said that if you add all the greenery, which is really popular, it maintains a bit of that rustic romance. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, by using the same bold palette that we just talked about, you are opening the door for a, a wider variety of flower options, not just your standard roses or peonies. It's more of a wildflower look. And then what about uh, place settings? Mm -hmm. So the napkin knot is actually a fun, playful trend that we're seeing right now. It's a simple twist, and it adds a bit of shape and definition to your table. And colored glassware is actually popping up all over really? weddings. Really? Yep. Because mm -hmm. before, some people would have considered that like kitschy, right? You know what? The designs for the glassware now are so elegant, and it's yeah. a great way to incorporate your wedding palette into the rest of your display. And also, black is the new black. Okay. Brides are brides and grooms are being drawn to the simplicity oh, and the yeah. timelessness of black. So elegant. It really is, and it grounds the pops of color that you want to use. Really black tie. Mm -hmm. Like I mean, it. Mm -hmm. feels, mm -hmm. Yeah. Love it. Okay. Elevated. Let's move on over to this table over here because we've got a few other things that bride and grooms have to think about. Mm -hmm. And Rebecca, the invitations can mm -hmm. kind of really set the tone for a wedding. So tell us what uh, people are sending out. What are we going to see in our mailboxes? Prints, prints, and more prints. These are from Ferris Wheel Press, and they said that we're seeing lots of dark florals, not the, the pretty pastel florals that we've seen. These are rich, romantic, deep floral patterns. We're seeing greenery patterns, which is obviously inspired from the Pantone of the year, and blue and white china patterns, a chinoiserie, and still, of course, laser cutting, modern, modern laser cut patterns are still extremely popular. Some of these are so elaborate, wow. Mm -hmm. Now, last year you told us that the flower crown was the thing to do with your wedding dress mm -hmm. look. Mm -hmm. How about this year? It is still very on trend, but flower crowns have gone metallics. So we're seeing um, crowns and halos and everything that's very regal. It has a presence to it, a weight to it. A halo. Mm -hmm. So these pieces are from Terra Fava, and they are they they are just royal. They are regal. They are for the fashion forward bride. This would be Lainey Louis. Oh. Yes. Speaking of regal. Halo me. This is a halo. Yes. Halo me. This is okay. a halo. So there's two ways of wearing a halo. <laughs> Beautiful. You can either wear the halo almost as a headband like this, okay. or if you want a different look, if you want to go more boho, if you want a different style. I would later like boho. On. Halo yeah. boho. Okay, look at that. I, like that. I do. <laughs> It's gorgeous. Yeah, it's a little more bohemian. I love them. You just need to yes. keep this on. Mm -hmm. You just need to I'm stick with that. To. Just keep it on. Okay. So you say that we're moving away from photo booths and selfies and that kind of thing into something a little more formal. What are you talking about, Rebecca? We're seeing traditional photo booths being replaced with floral vignettes. Wow. So that means that brides and grooms and their guests can step into a floral arrangement. They are standing in a 3D space of floral arrangements. And that's where they take either their professional photos or their guests can take photos in that space afterwards. So pretty. 
pretty. Wow. It's gorgeous. Look at these pictures. Now, you, speaking of guests, typically, you know, you go to a wedding, you leave with one of those mesh bags, and there might be like a candy in there or something. Yes. So what about wedding favors? We have come so far with wedding favors. We've done absolutely everything. I'm sure everybody's seen so many different ideas, but we're back to the edible wedding favor. Okay. These are from Oliver and Bonaccini, who are saying that brides and grooms are offering a choose your own adventure style of wedding favor. So a huge display of different kinds. And you can go up and say, hmm, I want a brioche with brie and whipped butter. Cute. Or I want That's a scone. Noodles. Yeah, noodles. That's for a savory option if you're not into the sweets. Yeah. And if you are, I mean, mint bark. You can have little shortbread cookies. Really, the idea is that it's a food station, but it's also an interactive gifting station. Oh, that is so smart. Mm -hmm. I love it. I love this. Okay, can we get to the good, good stuff now? The sweets and the booze? Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Over. Sweet right. table. Here Sweet we go. Sweet table. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Ooh. These are beautiful so designs. Tell us what's new, what we're going to see. Look at this already. All the little <laughs> embellishments. Stay back, Just, ladies. I'm trying not to eat right now. Uh, okay. We are seeing sweet tables deconstructed. So it's not just one big, long sweet table anymore. Yeah. Now we're seeing multiple different tables, different heights, different sizes. It's unique. It's interesting. Yeah. It's, it's an art piece as well as a way to display your sweets. We're also seeing translucent cakes. So we've seen the naked cakes, where it's just cake and stuff on top. Right. Translucent cakes have a bit of icing. It's a hint at the cake underneath. It's a bit of a play on the naked cake. Oh, so it's kind of like um, a window, and yes. you've, like, you've kind of rubbed some of the fog exactly. off, but not all of it. Oh, actually, love that. That's beautiful. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's such a pretty way of looking at it. Mm. So you've got your sweets. Now, yes. a great compliment to a piece of cake would mm. be a glass of something. Yes. Yes, so what is um, our open bar gonna look like in 2017 at a wedding? Well, you know, I love champagne. It's a staple at every single wedding. You've, we've all seen the bubbly bars, yes. but the bubbly bar is now being replaced with a scotch bar or a beer bar or Ooh. whiskey bar. Really? Listen to the audience. <laughs> it's so sophisticated. <laughs> the idea is that it's just more of a laid back, it's a more easy going version. It's something different that we haven't seen before. Totally different vibe. Totally different so we've got, I always like to have a, a couple different varieties of, in this case, scotches. I don't want to just offer one. I want to offer a couple different. You can either offer it in the bottle or you can mm -hmm. have a few decanters at the ready. You know, it's That's a really bit. smart because they say that women, more and more women are yes. drinking scotch and yeah. whiskey and bourbon. Mm -hmm. My favorite cocktail is actually an old-fashioned. has bourbon mm -hmm. in it. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. there you go. I've done entire um, scotch and bourbon tastings for women, like just a collection of women getting together. So move over. You know, the scotch is here to stay. It's well, not just I'm the waiting. bubbly anymore. For a wedding invitation well, for with this, this year. On, like, someone with invite this on, me. Someone's coming. <laughs> yeah. All right. Thank you so much, Rebecca. Amazing stuff. Uh, we'll make all of this available for you at the social.ca right after today's show. We're back right after this break.